Hey, what up? This is Brent. <clears throat> Brent taking it to the max, Arnold. And today I want to show you how to overlay the Air 2.7 SDK into your Flash CS 5.5 installation. So you remember that Air 2.6 was released with Air... Uh, that's right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Flash CS 5.5 came with Air 2.6 and Adobe just released the Air 2.7 SDK and they've given us this handy dandy little uh, support document to show how to install 2.7 into your existing CS 5.5 installation. Now here I am on my Windows box and I'm at this URL. Of course it's a real simple easy to remember URL might want to Google that. And of course it says if you do information provided to advanced developers. So since you're all advanced and since you guys don't like to read, I will show you how this is done. So we got these instructions. The first thing you do, click this link. You'll be presented with this page and download the SDK. So I've already done that of course. Got the SDK downloaded here. Now I'm going to extract it. Now. Make sure you extract it to a folder. I'm using WinRAR for my extraction tool. Make sure you extract it to a folder. All right, so we got this folder here. Now the next thing is to uh, make sure you don't have Flash CS 5.5 running, of course. And then you need to go to the existing folder. So I'm gonna double click jump in and hey whoops that's not it that's what I want boot camp okay I admit it I'm on a Windows machine on my Mac you found me out okay so in uh, Adobe's gonna be installed in the uh, x86 folder which is the 32-bit versions and so we're navigating to the flash CS 5.5 folder so this is where we're going to be operating within these folders. Here I am, Flash CS 5.5. So the first thing to do is we need to identify the original Air 2.6 folder and rename it and get it out of the way. So if I click here and I'm going to rename this and just say old and now it's renamed. Now you can always delete this but if you want to keep a reference to it you know, you, you can just rename it so that you don't have to find it again. Now, what we will do is take this existing folder, drag it into this area here, and rename this to be Air 2.6. So go ahead and do that. So what we've done is put in and replaced the Air 2.6 folder. Now, once we have this, we need to go inside this folder and we need to take out, copy out a specific file. And that file is called the airglobal.swc. And that's going to be within the frameworks folder and then within the libs and the air. And now we have the air global swick. So right click, copy. We're going to copy that folder, copy that file, and then we're going to back out. Jump way back already to the um, root flash CS55 folder. Now, here what we're going to do is navigate into common, then configuration, then action script 3, error 2.6, and we're going to paste and re replace this one. So now what we've done is we pulled the air global out of the new folder and we've pasted it here in the common configuration extra 3 air 2.6. Alright, simple? Easy. Alright, now we need to edit a few files so that they have the right version number. So let's back out a couple more times. We're back at the root of our Flash CS55 installation. From here we need to go in and open a few files, go to common, go to configuration, and go to players. Now here 
we're going to edit a few files. The files we need to edit are going to be the Air 2.6. So let's go ahead and right click and choose Edit. And it's going to open a text editor. Uh, here I just have it set to Notepad. Let's go ahead and open all the files so that we know we can modify them and save them so we keep track of them. So we want the Air 2.6, Air 2 the Air iPhone, we want the Android. So those three files we're going to edit. Now what we're doing is we're changing the references where it says for this one here I am in the Android XML we there's a line that says player ID Android underscore zero and then it says version 11 we want to change that to version 12 and then minor minor right very good and that's it for that one go ahead and save whoops control s to save so we change that to version 12 and then we go ahead and close that one now let's go look at the air iphone where it says player id pfi1 underscore zero we need to change that version to 12 as well and save it save finally we need to do the same thing where we have the air 2 underscore 6 change that to version 12 as well so now we'll save that so now we've modified those three files right pretty simple obviously <laughs> following their instructions is always fun because they always say do this and this and this and this and then you're not quite sure if you did all that right but the point is, is that we just modified three files updated their versions to 12 as opposed to 11 and now let's jump back to our root flash cs55 folder and we're going to navigate to the 2.6 and samples and descriptor sample and we're going to edit and we're going to make sure this namespace says 7 and it does because we obviously replaced it see and this is where another one of those things see I'm looking at the instructions and the instructions say to modify this file well this file is something we already copied from the new one so it's obviously been updated so anyway we just want to verify that and that's right okay that's it so overlaying the SDK in 20 easy steps. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just review it. Again, what we did is we had to rename the new SDK that we downloaded. We copied out the Air Global SWIC, copied it back into the place it needed to be. We modified the versions for three XML files, and then we made sure that the samples, descriptor sample, had the right SDK. All right, good luck. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you around.